Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinta and if you're new here, feel free to look around my channel and consider subscribing if you like what you see. But if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I want to be I want to talk about um the shoot the killing that happened in Indianapolis by a black man. So this man literally shot four people over seven hundred dollars, basically. Um he shot these people over a stimulus check and if you guys don't know we're receiving stimulus check here in the u.s you know by the government to help us you know pay some of our bills and ease the stress that came with the pandemic i just do not understand this whole issue can somebody tell me like what kind of useless man is going to shoot four people over seven hundred dollars over seven hundred dollars this I mean, this news, when I got it, I was so surprised. I was so shocked. It sounds unbelievable, but hey, this is the reality. This is what is going on, okay? So he literally went to his baby mama's house and said he wants to take half of the stimulus check, which is $700, and the lady refused because basically he is more like useless to her and the baby. He's not taking care of the kid, so the mom wants to keep the entire money okay so they went through an argument and there were four people in the house basically i would say five people in the house um including the baby mama and eventually the baby mama wanted to give him four hundred dollars and this man said no he's not taking four hundred dollars and during the argument he of course decided to shoot all four people in the house all five people in the house i mean and four people died which includes the baby mama's mom, her cousin, her brother, and her seven-year-old daughter, which is the oldest daughter. Oh my goodness. This man literally killed four people, including a child over that much little money. This stimulus money is basically chicken change. I know this may sound a lot or may seem a lot to a lot of people because we're all not at the same level when it comes to finances. But still, I don't think even more than fourteen or seven hundred dollars is what you're killing one person. All I can say is that he needs to go to jail and of course he doesn't need to be out again. According to reports, this guy Guy has been jailed for uh, about a few months because he shot another person long before he even met this girl okay so he's somebody who has been getting into troubles in and out so i don't know what also the lady also was thinking because i don't want to be disrespectful because this is a hard time for the family but i just wanted to say as a woman we need to know how we're choosing our partners okay we need to be careful who we're choosing as a partner sometimes the red flags are looking at us but we just don't want to say it okay these are things that happen all the time you see some people they see the red flags they see the wrongs that are happening in their relationship they know that their partner is the is not the right person for them and is not in the right sense of mind either or is an abusive person they still decide to stay some people will call it love listen i don't know any type of love except a simple gentle and no violence love yes anything that requires you to be violent towards me is no love for me and I'm sorry, look at how to take this much people's life just by getting involved with the wrong person. It took so many lives away. Look at this cute baby. They just lost their life like this over a stupid and useless person. Goodness. And as we're talking right now, I also was reading another news report that there's another shooting in Detroit over stimulus check. I'm like, what the heck is happening over this stimulus money? Like, baby mamas and baby daddies are wanting to kill each other because of stimulus. Really? But yeah, it is a very, very sad situation, but very devastating at the same time. I don't even want to be in the place of this family because right now these people are going through a lot. You can imagine losing four people at the same time. You can imagine that. This is very, very devastating. And I'm just looking at this guy. I can't even believe that he has the heart to do this over $700. And he literally did that and took away his baby in the car. I don't know if he did this, you know, because of stimulus check or there is more to the story that we already know. Because it would not make sense for anybody to do what he did. But hey, 
it may happen because some people are crazy and you will not believe the kind of things people would do here in America over a hundred dollars talk less of seven hundred dollars for real for real for real but yeah that is what is going on today and it's all over the news it's very devastating and I sympathize with the family and I just wish this guy will go and not come back there's a police officer that was talking about witnesses coming forward to testify. And he said that he doesn't think witnesses are going to come forward and testify because if people know that the guy is going to be out within a couple of months, who's going to be out, who's going to go and testify against him so you can risk your family and yourself? And I, I agree with him because this man was in custody. This man was in jail overshooting another guy. OK, and this guy came out within a few months, though the guy didn't die, but he almost killed that person. I don't know what happened in that case, but why should such a guy who is a convicted felon come out of jail just to come and kill other four people? You literally let him out so he can do this. Like sometimes I don't understand the system. They let people out, dangerous people, people who are very dangerous to the society. They let them out just to commit more crime. And this police officer is so so right he's so right about it so people are going to be scared to even testify against him because they're going to think he'll be out again and who's going to risk your family's life you know no matter how much we talk about we love each other you know we want to be truthful and we want to stand by each other when you look at it again and if i'm going to be truthful if we're going to be really really truthful to each other everybody your family comes first your kids come first before anybody so if doing certain things will risk the life of your family, your kids, <laughs> you might as well just not do it. And I understand why people be scared to testify against him. Because if he came out once after shooting somebody, who knows? They'll be scared that he'll come out again. But this time around, I doubt if he'll come out. I doubt if he'll come out. This guy did something very serious. Four people, including a 70-year-old child. Insane and crazy anyways that is it for this video and thank you so much for watching share and subscribe to my channel of course i will see you in my next video bye guys and have a good day